Okay, for our training tip this week, the last two weeks we've talked about lateral and vertical flexion, so today I'm going to show you a piece of equipment that helps me achieve the results I talked about in those earlier tips. This piece of equipment right here is a flexion rig that I've designed and used for the past 20 years, and Classic Equine now produces this product and carries it in all their retail stores. Um, the way this is designed is with the rain on this flexion rig, I designed it so that rain is as close to where my hands would be when I'm sitting on my horse's back in my saddle. Okay, so I'm trying to simulate the same feel as when I'm in my saddle. Now for lateral flexion, this piece of equipment has a bungee tarp strap or a bungee strap right here, and that bungee has lots of give to it, and that's the key to this product. Because just like our hands when we're on a horse and that horse roots into our hands a little bit, our hands have some give and then as the pressure increases, that horse finds that release point. Okay, so this piece of equipment, and I use it every day, just for an example, this morning, before I rode my first horse, I'd put 10 of these on different horses, trying to achieve different results with each one. But when you flex, use this piece of equipment to flex a horse laterally, I want just enough tension, just enough pressure in this horse's mouth so that if I was sitting on his back, when he finds that release point and gives to that pressure, I'm going to be able to see that horse's eye. You don't ever want to bid a horse up and bring their head around and tie their head around like that with all that pressure to where they have to stay flexed that much because what happens is that horse gets tired and then it just teaches them to lean on that bit and rest on it. This way, with this piece of equipment, this horse can be moving around and just like here where he's looking over to the right, eventually that pressure is going to send a signal to his brain and he's going to find that release point and he's going to figure out, just like right there, that that's where that release point is. So when you're on his back and you feel that pressure, you're going to achieve the same results, okay? So for lateral flexion and vertical flexion, this is an awesome, awesome tool. But the key to it is knowing how to use it properly. When you, when you set your rein to the length you want it, when that horse gives to that pressure and finds that release point, if I was sitting on his back, I'd be just able to see the corner of his eye. I'm not trying to crank his head around like this. I just want this horse that when he feels that slight pressure, his first reaction is to give and get behind that bridle. That's our healthy coat training tip of the week for lateral flexion. Next week we'll go over how to set it for vertical flexion. This is a product that I developed over 20 years. Classic Equine now manufactures and distributes this product. You can go to our website, philhaugenhorsemanship.com, and go to our online store and, and uh, order this product. It's a great piece of equipment and extremely, extremely effective and efficient time saver. You know, to train a horse, you have to be very efficient and you have to get results. And it's all about the signal that you're sending to this horse. That horse has got to be able to process that signal and understand the response you're asking for. And this is a piece of equipment that, that will help you progress your horse in their training substantially. Have a great week and we'll see you next week.